boy, God really knows how to slow us down, doesn't he? Be still and know that I am God. Hello, hello, how are all of you doing? We are doing good. We have pretty much hunkered down here at the house. We had two cases come out in our town. So we are just staying in and staying away from everybody. Justin's classes, I already filled you in on what's going on with him. Everything is still the same. He's gonna be online for the rest of his classes and graduation still is hopefully middle of summer to end of summer. As far as Timothy, we got an update and all of his classes are online now, which seriously is a huge relief to me. I am so glad that they decided to go online. Uh, he gets, I think it's an extra week off for like spring break and then they're going to online classes for the rest of the year. We have also decided to not eat out at this time, so we are cooking at home. Justin, I had his graduation pictures scheduled for Friday and I ended up moving those out. Not so much of the coronavirus, but because of our weather here. Our weather went from almost 80 degrees right into 40 degrees overnight. And I really didn't want, you know, a red nose and red cheeks in the pictures because some of those pictures are outside. So we're gonna just move that out a week and hopefully we can get his pictures taken. Things are closing down in our town and uh, my hair salon has closed down, which is also my nail salon. So you might see me with some white hairs peeking out eventually. You know, I was just thinking, I actually just bought a box of egg color for Easter eggs. I could dye my hair in egg color. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> no. I need to try and get some hair color though. If it gets too bad, I do need to figure out what to do with that. So what we are doing around here is just, I am going around the house and I'm getting things done that have been needing to get done. And one of the things that I have been putting off is my bathroom cupboard behind my door in my master bathroom. It has really gotten away from me. It's so easy to just keep shoving stuff in there and it just builds up. I have no room and I need to make some room and make some changes in there. And that is one of the things I'm going to tackle today. We are in my bathroom. Behind our door, we have this set of cabinets. It runs all the way to the floor. They are deep. They are the length of the wall that the tub sits here. And then the cabinets are in this wall. We emptied out these cabinets. We need to go through all of this stuff, which is all over my counters and all over my bed. We need to find better storage and we need to throw away the stuff that's expired. Jason found these bins at Lowe's and this is what we are going to use for our bathroom supplies. So in one bin, we have put all of the band-aids and bandages. We have, these are for ice to hold ice. We put our thermometers in here, things that we use but not very often but we you know you just don't want to be without this bin so far we put all our extra like stuff in for summer and for travel and then this smaller bin we put all of the summer stuff out we're actually going to leave this out right now because well i mean summer's right around the corner so we have for burns we have lotions and tanning things stuff to help us not burn <laughs> Jason has his handy dandy little label maker. We are placing labels on each of these bins and then we'll know what's in them. This one is going to say first aid supplies and then we also put thermometers in case we forget which one we put those thermometers into. For this bin, I, me and Jason ended up finding a lot of the Bath & Body Works soaps that I thought was gone and it wasn't. I even have like half bottles and stuff, so I'm set on that. And I really lean toward the fall and winter scents. 
And then I have some just extra things that we have gotten. So this Blistax and razors, extra toothpaste, things like that. So that is what's in this bin. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is one of those great big humongous garbage bags. And look how much stuff is in it. It goes all the way up to this area right here. We really did good. We got rid of a lot of junk that has been expired in the bathroom and has been in there for a long time. It always feels so good to get cupboards organized. This is another item I found on Amazon. It is to store plastic bags into it. It has this opening in the top and then you can just pull them right out through this slot in the front. You can stick this on. It comes with the 3M stickers on the back or you can put a screw into it so it's more sturdy, which I think that's what we're gonna end up doing is the screw instead of the stickies. Right now I keep my bags in a tissue box in the bottom of a cabinet in my laundry room. And I think this is going to be a game changer for me. We thought about putting in that bag holder right here. This is the door to the garage. And then we thought, mm, cause we reach in through the garage and hit that for the light in here for the laundry room. So we're like, you know, that might be in the way. And then we thought about putting it here along this wall. We we're like, mm, we have all these bowls in there, you know. Okay, we're in the pantry and we thought about putting it right in this area. This is the door right here. You come in, we would have to, again, hit the light to turn this on and we think it would have just stuck out and would be in the way. Plus it blocked in the tea caddy and we wouldn't be able to get the tea in and out of the pantry. So we ended up putting it behind the laundry room door. This is where I hang our clothes to air dry, the ones that need to air dry. And I think this is good. It fits really well here. So that is the new home of our little bag holder. Okay, Justin's TV just died. He said it was working perfectly fine last night and then he went to turn it on today and it isn't working. So he's out of a TV, but Jason went into the garage and he took the TV out of the garage that we had out there and he just played music and stuff on it when he was working out there and he put that in Justin's room for right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not a good time to lose a television right now. After about a year, we have finally gotten smart. <laughs> I found these boxes on Amazon. It is called a bento box. I will have them linked below. Jason takes food back and forth from our home to the cottage during the week. And he was taking my storage bowls. So I was running low on storage bowls. He can heat up his meals in the microwave. You can put raw or cooked food, including soup in these. So we are gonna give these a good try. They're dishwasher safe, microwave safe. This is what it says. All this good stuff. I'm so glad I found these. Look at what we have. We are back in business, folks. We got a new garbage can, which we needed desperately. Jason found this at Bed Bath & Beyond. They didn't have any in the store, right? Right. So he ended up ordering it online. Oh, isn't that just it's lovely? considered black, but it's like the metallic or black stainless that we have for our appliances. Oh, and it's boy. got a little pouch in here for garbage bags. Oh, wow. You can buy their brand and they Does just... it take garbage? Oh, look at that. Oh, mercy sakes. It closes by itself. And so it takes its own garbage bags It'll on? It'll take anything. You just lift this up to put your garbage bag on. But it has this little dispenser yeah. right there. How smart is that? Good job, honey. Thank you. Who, what's the brand? I didn't... Simple Human. Simple Human. Oh yes, Kayla that does my hair was telling us about the brand Simple Human and I was telling her about our garbage can had broke and she said that she loves the name brand Simple Human. So Kayla, if you're watching this, thank you. Oh, it fits really nice in there. Hits that ledge just a little bit, but I think it's gonna work. That'd be a lot better opening up in the front 
like yeah. that than the side, Cause, how yeah, the other one this, did. Because with this one, we had to have it off here, out here. Yes. So the lid didn't hit this. We can tuck it back in. I wanted to let you know that because of everything that's going on in this crazy world right now, everything is slowing down here as far as school. My work is slowing down a little bit. I am going to be making more videos and I will be putting more videos out. So make sure that you have that bell button on and you will be notified when a new video comes out. I am going between two to three plus days. I'm gonna start putting videos out. I'm not real sure. It just depends on how busy my work day is that I can go ahead and put those out. Also, I want to run something past you. I am thinking strongly about doing vlog mazing this year. If you're not familiar with vlog mazing, I've done it twice so far. This year I would be vlogging every day in the month of May. So if you think that's something that you would enjoy, let me know in the comments below. But I am really strongly thinking about doing vlog mazing this year. It's, I think it would be a lot of fun. I ordered this from Bath and Body Works and it just got delivered. It's Somebody Loves You and it is their candle marshmallow fluff. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. If you are able to get your hands on one, I highly recommend that you do it. I'm gonna actually start burning it right now. We like the one that's marshmallow fireside, so I knew we would like the marshmallow fluff. This one is actually a little sweeter. I can smell it. It's like almost like a sugar cookie, but the marshmallow, well, I don't know. It might even be like the marshmallow fluff that you buy at the store. It's sweet, and ugh, I don't know. I think we're gonna love this candle. And look at this. You cannot beat that sweet little bunny picture on the front. They did have magnetic eggs that would go on the top or like a bunny that you could set on the side of this. And I really wanted to get one of those, but they were sold out. So darn it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you are staying safe and you are finding things to do around your home. Things that you have been putting off just like I have and you have decided, you know what, while I'm locked in the house, I might as well get some of this stuff done. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.